AI has made a huge impact on programming over the span of under a year. Think back to November with ChatGPT, how this changed the way that programmers learn how to code. It completely revolutionized how we think about code, the way we code in such a short amount of time. And it can't help but bring up the question, well, if this is all in under a year, what does the future hold in five years for programming with AI? Will there be programmers even around? Is there a point in me still learning how to code? And today we're going to be covering just that. What will AI programming look like in five years? This is something I spent a ton of time doing research on on the plane. So I'm gonna share with you in this video, not only predictions, but also back them up by some interesting facts and data points. And so you can have an understanding of, is it worth learning how to code? And if you are learning how to code, where should you start from? Should you still start from the basics? What will this mean in the future? Will it still be a good job or will it be a very ordinary job? This is all really exciting to me. And that's why I'm filming it while I'm in the middle of paradise. Let's get into it. Actually, as a side note, because I learned how to code about seven, eight years ago, been coding professionally for six years now, I look back at, at what I started and I feel like a grandma, insert like wig here, of, of gray hair because I go back in my day, we didn't have AI to code with. We had to code from scratch. We used Stack Overflow. Now, it's the reality is you don't even have to use Stack Overflow typically. Nowadays, AI is being trained with Stack Overflow so you can use different AI tools to give you the exact answer you are looking for immediately. It's wild, it's bonkers. I feel like I'm one of those really old individuals who sometimes are stereotyped by being like, we did it the hard way. You don't know what it was like for us back then. I'm one of them, I'm one of them. All right, let's dive into it. Okay, I don't know about you, but I have spent hours, not even just hours, days, like my entire work days, just debugging. It might be for a feature I'm working on or a different task that I need to complete and I get stuck on a bug. The amount of time that it used to take to solve these bugs that would come up, or for example, if you needed help from a more senior engineer, reaching out to them when they are available, they need to clear their schedule, like it's, there's this huge trickle effect and impact on what that looks like. However, now with AI, and if you look ahead even five years from now with AI, it is going to be doing all the mundane tasks for us. I mean, it already is, and it's going to continue to be able to build at a larger scale. So, okay, Tiff, that sounds terrible. Like, where are we going to be needed? The reality is we are going to be needed to think bigger picture, which is really exciting to have more opportunity to be more in a leadership position. Programmers will really become thought leaders in the sense of we have to understand the code and what its capabilities are, even if we aren't the ones writing or solving these little small bugs, but understanding the possibilities, the capabilities of it, and being able to speak about it, those skills are huge, huge. And yes, we still will be writing code, but it won't be those mundane tasks. And what that will allow us to do is free up our time to think bigger picture. I predict in the next five years, we will see so many more programmers become founders of companies, become CEOs or CTOs of companies. Well, they already do go that path, but we'll really see the spike in programmers becoming thought leaders because we aren't spending our time day on and day, day in, day in and day out, working on mundane tasks, but rather we can think bigger picture, which to me is pretty exciting. Okay, let's do an example of this though. When you think big picture or when you think that these programmers become thought leaders, and I'm not saying we aren't already, please don't take it as that, but I'm just saying I think we'll see more going in that direction. Imagine if you can, well, we already can. I mean, I was playing around with Whisper uh, API yesterday from OpenAI, and imagine you can train AI systems to develop more innovative programs and at a quicker rate than that. That allows you to continue to build and iterate and fail, see what works and what doesn't work at such a quicker rate, and programmers will be really at the heart of that. Okay, this is a really cool spot, by the way. Look at this, a little reading nook here. Tip number two, or point number two, of what the future will look like for programmers. What happens when you are not spending your time debugging or working on these smaller tasks, what it allows you to do is be able to upskill. When you look at the job market, there's three main areas that really stand out to me right now that will continue to grow in demand, especially in the next five years. The first one being cybersecurity. As everything continues to go digital and more businesses are going online, the need for cybersecurity experts, whether it's engineers, whether it's analysts, business people, 
Cybersecurity as a whole is continuing to grow at such a quick rate. And I don't know about you, but when I'm programming or was programming every single day, day in and day out, working on these mundane tasks, it didn't leave a lot of time for me to upskill. I was burnt out by the end of the day. I was tired. I loved my job, but it's tiring. Even now as a developer relations, I, I feel like after the end of the day, I'm tired. I don't want to spend my time learning something new after 5 p.m. or waking up extra early to do that. So now, being able to pass on these mundane tasks, these smaller tasks to AI, what it allows us to do is actually become smarter by upskilling, leveling up our skills, choosing what area interests us that maybe we thought wasn't even possible because of the lack of time, which I get super excited about, as you can tell. Cybersecurity being one, I'll put some stats up here on screen around it. It's just mind blowing though, how the need, to, the demand for cybersecurity is continuing to rise. Also as a side note, it's very early in the morning and I'm on, <laughs> I'm on my first cup of coffee. So just bear with me, okay? They haven't programmed AI to inject coffee into me yet, but they will soon, I'm sure. The other two industries though that are as well very popular and when I was researching are continuing to go in demand. Of course, artificial intelligence is one and I'll put some stats here around it. It's continuing to skyrocket and, and will continue in the next five years as more things become automated and uh, start grasping onto AI and machine learning and the capabilities continue to skyrocket. And the last one being cloud computing. Cloud computing really Really start to skyrocket during the pandemic and as companies are really going online for the first time looking for other solutions that's when you really see the spike i mean it was already trending this way but then i noticed during 2020 it was like Phew! and it's continuing to skyrocket the amount companies are investing in it I'll, once again put some stats here on screen and it's just continuing to go up and i think cloud computing is something that's so interesting so much opportunity for and another great area and now you can actually think about studying or learning these things online because you are freeing up more time. So kind of tying to number one, I would say programmers not only are going to become thought leaders, but also intellectuals and a lot more of the theory and architecture side of things will continue to grow as well. The last thing that is so important to note is it's not going to happen overnight. We really did see this boom of AI come along when ChatGPT was released in November of last year. And since then it's the thing everyone is talking about, but the reality is it still has a long way to go. It's growing at a much quicker pace and it will continue to as it gets smarter and smarter, but it's not going to be instant. And I always get this question, well Tiff, is it still worth learning the basics, the fundamentals of programming? Absolutely. Just like anything, you need to build a foundation. And if you are someone who is learning to code or already did learn to code, it is not a waste of time. It is one of the best things you can invest in yourself. I sound like a sales pitch. Do this. It's one of the best things you could do. But I, it's because I'm so passionate about it because it changed my life and I see the impact it has on others' lives. It doesn't mean you necessarily need to become a full-time programmer, for example, or whatever, but understanding how tech is built is so powerful as it is literally changing and building our world. And what better way to be part of that than understand to some degree at least how it is built. And you can do that with code. So yes, if you are thinking of learning to code, I would highly suggest still doing so. You need those foundations. And then from there, you'll continue to grow. You'll use AI tools along the way, and that's totally okay. That's that's actually great. You should embrace and adopt them as well. And on that note, because AI is going to have such a rapid change or a rapid pace for how we code and how we program, not only should you keep up with AI tools, I think it will become something that you need to. Almost like when you are learning to code, you learn how to install VS Code for some people or you learn how to use the terminal. Now I think it will become, you also learn how to use different AI tools. Not saying it will necessarily be ChatGPT, but some AI tool that you use for programming assistance. They're like your assistants you can think of. At the end of the day, AI is actually set to create 7.2 million new jobs thanks to its help with productivity, freeing up people's time. The possibilities are endless and sitting here and making this video, I couldn't help but think the things that we, the, there are going to be so many new jobs in the next five years that we literally don't know about yet because they don't exist. And that's really exciting. So I think the best thing that we can do as technologists is continue to upskill and not be fearful of, is this going to take my job? But rather thinking of it, how can this help me be a better person, build better technology for people, help others? And from there, I think we're really secure. Maybe I'll look back on this video and be like, 
Well, no one's secure and that's okay, but I'd rather be on the optimistic side, continuing to build and learn and grow with AI versus the other side. What about you? Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding and career related topics. Leave in the comments any questions you have. I will do my best to answer every single one of them. And I think it's time for me to go hit the pool. Thanks everyone.